So now let's see how we can change the frames per second inside of Blender and then add or remove frames as well. So by default, you can see that I have around 250 frames right here. And if I want to change the number of frames that I have in total inside of Blender, then here you can see that there's the start right here. And in N, I can uh, just go around, type in the number that I want, press enter, and then that becomes the end frame. So now the end frame becomes 100, the start frame is um, uh, zero right here. I can also go around and press thousand right here. So in that case, what happens is that the end frame is thousand. So I can simply click and drag and you'll be able to see a uh, thousand right here. Simply click and drag. And then there you go. You can simply click and drag the slider to see out other frames as you can see right here. And on the thousand mark, you can see uh, that out right there. So let me just change this back into hundred right here, just like this so that I can zoom in so into a certain portion, just like this and go around right here and I can drag the slider right here as you can see to see that particular frame size right here. So now another thing that I can do is I can add in negative frames as well but usually for physics and other properties negative frame might not be what you want but for sometimes you may want to add in minus 20 frames right here and you can do that as well but in my case I'm going to stick to 20 right here and when you render you, um, it renders out this particular section. So now in order to work around with frame per second and show you how it works, I'm going to press shift A on my keyboard and then I'm going to bring in a cube just like this. So I'm going to start the animation. I'm going to enable auto keyframe right here just like this and then rotate around and I can see that 100 is the final frame right here. So I'm just going to go around, rotate this around right here. And similarly, I can go around and then move the position of this as well just like this and I can see that this is what you have. So if I were to press space bar right here, you can see that it plays around just like this. So it plays around quite slow. And why that is, is because I've set my frame per second very low. So you can change around the frame per second uh, so that per second it plays around certain number of frames. So uh, to do that, I can go around into the output settings right here and then you can go to dimensions and over here you can see that right now my frames per second is set to three right here. I can also go around set it to 60 and what it does is that it makes the animation much more smoother. So this video is recorded at 30, so you won't be able to see it much smooth. So if I were to go to 30, now you can see that uh, the frame, the animation is much more smoother. Similarly, I can go halfway down as well. So I can go to custom right here and I can go around type in the frame per second I want. Let's say for example, 15, press the play button and it is much more slower as you can see right there. I can also go around and type in five right here. And what happens is that it is much more slower. The base is one that means um, uh, the frame rate increase base is one frame per second. But if I were to do five right here, then what happens is that it jumps around as you can see. So it just goes around, jumps around five frames right here. So one, uh, then it actually goes around and then increase, uh, increases out one, just like this, as you can see. So if I were to do, let's say something like 30 right here, and if I were to do five frame jump, then it plays around at 30 frames per second, but with a five frame of jump right here. So it does not play out all the frames right here. So to make it smoother, you press one just like this, and you can see that this is how it works. So that is how you can change the frames per second and then add in frames inside a blender to make animation play out choppier or make to make it smoother. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.